In this video, I'm going to show you how to design a bump chart. And a bump chart looks something like this. And the whole idea of a bump chart is to show how things rank over time. So we're going to get into that in this video. And before we begin, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell because I release new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. So let's head over to Tableau. All right, so I'm here in Tableau, and we're just going to use the Superstore data set. Really simple, and everyone's got it uh, if you've got Tableau Desktop. Okay, and let's build a fresh one. All right, so let's say I've got um, all the sales, very simple, and I've got subcategory like so. And instead, we're going to show this as a line, right? And actually, no, the subcategory is supposed to go into the color, and then we want it over time, which is this one. And let's say I've got, let's say quarter, right? If I said to you, well, who is the top, oh, which category is the top in terms of sales? right and for what period of time it's really hard to tell from this visualization right but unfortunately this is what i see a lot of people do in the industry and this can be solved using a bump chart so the first thing we're going to do is we're going to find out what's called the rank and it's very easy to do and let me do an illustration of how that works so let's bring in subcategory uh, let's flip this around and make this a bar all right so i've got Let's just say very simple sales by subcategory. And we want to rank this highest to lowest. You can just sort it, but all that does is it sorts it. We have no way to reference its position in the order. And that's when we use rank. So I'm going to duplicate this. We're going to add this text label. All right, so we can see this. And I'm going to use a quick table calculation. All right, and I'm just going to use rank. And you can see these values have changed because now it's ranking them from highest to lowest. And we want to be able to reference this formula. And one trick you can do is once you've done uh, all sorts of things to a, let's say, a pill calculation, right, a shelf calculation, you can actually just drag this straight into the Explorer, right, and it will save that formula. So we can actually call this rank of sum of profit, right? And it's a massive time saver. You can see that this label now matches this one because it's referencing that data set. And if I open it up, the formula is really simply just that. So if you want to write it out, you can do that as well. All right, so now let's clear all of this. Now what I want to bring in is this rank of profit. All right, and actually let's put that into rows. And we want to bring in that subcategory as the color splitter because right now it's ranking the lowest level of granularity, which is basically the whole data set. So we're going to introduce a subcategory into colors so you can see each and every single one great and then we want to see that over time so let's bring the order date back in at a quarter right and you can see this and still doesn't look that great and the reason for this is that the rank is a um it's a i guess a quick table calculation so it needs a, di a direction right so we're going to go here and go compute using in this case subcategory and you'll see it spread out Right, because now it's calculating the rank at each time period using the subcategory. Now, to add to this visualization a little bit uh, more to make it a bit clearer, what we do usually is we duplicate this one. So now I've got two of the same thing. I'm going to switch the second one to a circle, all right, which gets rid of all the lines. And then I'm going to dual access this, like so. Don't forget to synchronize. Okay, so now they're on the same spot. We're going to make this bubble or this circle a little bit larger, like so. And maybe what we'll do is just for the tutorial, we can get we can just keep some of these. Let's say I'm going to keep this. Okay, that's a little bit easier to see. Right, and then also I'm going to reduce the opacity of the line. So you can just see the line because the, the goal is to see the movement of the values so let's say I hover over one of these you can see that this one's it's usually going from position 3 to position 7 and because number 1 is the highest we should also reverse this uh, reverse like so that way we know this is the highest okay let's get rid of this header don't need that All right we got that here so we know that bookcase is actually near the top you can see that's always pretty much near the top all right, and you can have all sorts of colors. Maybe I'll choose one that's a little bit more different. Let's try this one. All right, just so the, the colors are like in terms of contrast. So you can see that the purples are actually near the top. 
right? It's actually increased over time. And this is the whole point of a bump chart that you can see how things rank. You can see that this last one, Envelopes, just has not done well at all uh, <laughs> for a long period of time. And it's pretty much stayed down there. You've got Binders here, which is pretty much, it's had a few good time periods, but mostly at the bottom, right? And this is where the rank comes in. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, don't forget to hit uh, little, don't forget to hit the like because that helps with the YouTube algorithm a lot. Uh, don't forget to subscribe for new videos every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And until then, have a great day and bye.